Hi everyone, it's Lely from Through the Garden Gate and I want to show you how to repot things and um, cut roots and things like that. So I have here two indoor hibiscus that have been indoor all winter and these aren't too root bound um, but I'm, plant I'm putting them in planters because I'm going to have them on my patio for the summer. So, I've got some soil in here. Now there's always a hole in the bottom of the um, container and I always cover that either with a piece of um, a flower pot or a stone. So this I'm gonna put in and then pack some soil around it. And then sometimes when you get potted plants, they have a pretty robust root system down at the bottom. Um, without going too nuts, you can definitely break that up a little bit. And yeah, if they're really matted, you can take it. You can literally take a knife and cut around the roots. Um, just a slice, slice all around the roots, because they're fine. They're fine. They'll. You can you can really be ruthless with it, and they'll be fine. So, how much soil are you putting in this pot? Well, enough to cover the top of the hibiscus, which means this is done. And now I need some of this soil. This is container mix, which is not as expensive as potting soil, and I use it for my summer planters. So there we go. So then once you've put them in pots, then what do you do? Well, then I water them. How much? Um, soak them thoroughly. We just repotted that gorgeous standard hibiscus and um, I'm still watering it because it's gonna take a long time for the water to get all the way down to the bottom. As you can tell, hibiscus is my favorite plant. I have a lot. I have some inside that haven't come out yet. I will bring them out this weekend and they will happily spend the summer outside. So I see that you have a lot of things. Annuals. Yeah, this a is, lot of annuals. This is for my window box. Well, wait a minute. Can you talk about the difference between an annual and a perennial? Perennial comes back every year. They're more expensive, but once you plant them, they'll keep coming back. Annuals only are good until we have a freeze and then they die mm -hmm. and we're done. So I see over here that you have a lot of plants that you've obviously gotten at different garden centers. Uh -huh. How long can you leave plants in these things before needing to either put Quite them in soil or? Quite a while. These, these are tomatoes and peppers here. And then I have some annuals, that's basil. You can see basil's already gotten a little freeze on it, but it's all right. it'll be all right. How do you know that it has freeze on it? Look at the discoloration on the leaf. Okay. And then I have my other favorite are dahlias, and I have some new dahlia tubers. And then I have all my old tubers that were down in the cellar all winter, and they're ready to go in. Okay. But they don't do their thing until late August, September. They love it when it's cool nights and warm days. And they are so showy. Okay. Well, look, oh, look at the cats. <laughs> sort that's, of, sort of getting along. That's, that's cat mint. And they <laughs> love it. All right, great. So now you're going to finish filling this up and then water it in. Yep. Okay, is that it for this episode? Yes. Okay, would you like to sign off? Goodbye, till next time.